Hi guys, it's Amy and you have found Amy Loves Crochet. Thank you so much for clicking on my video to spend any time with me today. I really do appreciate it. Whether this is the first time you see me or you are a subscriber, thank you so very much. So before I forget, I've been asked about um, contact information. And so down below I have updated my email address and a Facebook group page that we all can be in and show you know, if you've seen something that I've done and then you're inspired to do something because of that, which you guys have left me many comments that that's the case. Um, now we'll have a Facebook group that you can share those with. So um, Facebook page, email, and I also have a PO box. So all that stuff is gonna be down in the description or I guess on the about tab. If you go to my page itself, um, it'll all be there, but I'll go ahead and put it in the description of this one because it's Kind of brand new and I'm excited about it. So today's video is going to be a little bit different because Amy loves crochet but Amy does not love to sew. <laughs> um, I kind of ran into a number, a plethora of issues in trying to complete the liners for these bags. Whether it was how I clipped them or you know um, sewing the beginnings of the edges um, and then I found that you know in sewing them into the bag I didn't need to do like the extra row of seam um, instead of making this a rough edge I folded it over and sewed it and then when I sewed it into the bag itself like I didn't need to do that and I didn't realize that until I had gotten to that point so um, get out your cuss jar because Amy was fluent this this weekend in working on these so um, this one didn't get tacked down to the bottom yet and I told myself I was gonna do that but here we are getting it filmed and it's, I hadn't done that yet. So um, yeah, so here's my first finished one. I'm really excited about it, especially for, you know, this being Halloween season coming up here. So um, nice little crossbody bag, if you will. It could be just one side if you wanted, um, but I kind of like it. <laughs> I, I remember the story of this. I was gonna create a corner to corner blanket in this black and white variegated and you see it's got some grays as well, but that just wasn't happening. So I stopped at one square and decided to make a matching square so that I could do, you know, just sew up the seams and call it done. So this has been bouncing around with me for quite some time. And for now, for it to be sewn, um, the lining be sewn in, I'm quite excited. So, um, you know, sometimes you stretch outside your comfort zone and it hurts really, really bad, but at the end, you feel okay about it. So that was one of this. I mean, this was one of those. <laughs> um, all right, this one's another one where um, I, I spoke it out into the world that I had been, you know, having a hard time with the orange liner there. But when I came to doing this one, um, I said out loud, oh, this one's going much better. And then immediately got this nasty knot. Um, so went around from the other side and this one was a little bit of a learning curve because I didn't necessarily think about it at the time, but um, it's more of a pocket bag and I just made the liner flat. So I did make it a little bit longer so that any extra material or whatever would be all, all up in there. Um, I tell you, I had a heck of a time, like I said. Um, a lot of the bobbins that I were using was using or bobbins thread whatever just came from like this little tiny you know d do it yourself little sewing kit that had like three little things of ribbon or thread and some needles and you know you see it for like 99 cents on the impulse rack or something and that's what I had that's what I was working with so I don't know when these others are ever going to get done if they are but I'm I'm kind of, each one of them is a little bit different, so I'm taking them one at a time. Um, so the sewing machine was a whole nother issue. Um, I got into the start of using the sewing machine. I, I got out a video and I watched how to get it, all the thread all loaded and the bobbin all loaded and all that good stuff. And, and finally got all situated to get my first sewing line done and an acorn pops out so needless to say, I got what my sister calls a bird's nest on the back side of that. And um, I put the machine away and just stepped away and came back to loading up a, a hand needle. <laughs> I mean, you know, to do it by hand. Um, I will take this opportunity to show you this great little table that I got.
Um, I was just at a Goodwill and um, they had this fold up sewing machine as you see here. Um, and it's great. My grandmother had the one that my grandmother, you know, I've talked about my, the, how much my grandmother sewed. And she had this great machine that tucked away down into a, a table like this. But it was really old. I remember that sewing machine was pretty cool looking. Even as a kid, I could, I could understand that. Um, but I don't know if this one works, you know, and I looked it up to see if, if mine had any special value or anything. And they're like 35 or 40 bucks on eBay and stuff. So it's just worth it to keep it for the nostalgia, obviously. Um, but the tag on it was for $25 and then there was an extra colored sticker that I didn't realize meant something and it was half price. So I bought that for $12 and 50 cents at my, at my local Goodwill. So I thought that was pretty exciting, but like I said, took it out, cleaned it out, cleaned it up to show it to you guys, but it just sits in the other room with a plant on it. Um, a plant that actually, uh, my employer gave me after my mother passed away. So I, I like it twofold for that that table I like twofold because it also works to hold that that plant that they gave me for her so each one of the bags is different and I was working with um, you know some of these was just material that I had to sew a whole pocket into some um, I did have two little pockets that I had sewn previously when the machine was working you know way back when when I first bought the machine and got it set up so very similar to this you know I just did the the edges and then I did a seam at the top because I thought like that's what you're supposed to do but as I found in my hand sewing that was a wasted step but so this is one that I had just the pocket and then I sewed I mean I crocheted what I thought would fit onto that um, it's kind of eh. I mean you know the whole the beauty about all of this is that I'm learning with every little step that I go every little thing that I do if it works or if it doesn't work I catalog that and can use it later so um, I hadn't decided whether I was just going to put straps on this and just have it like a little pocket bag um, or if I actually want to put a flapper on it and and be able to close the top over and maybe put a button on it or something I'm not sure but um, so I've got one side of this done I know them you know not all the materials match the yarn that I used but um, you know you use what you've got that's that's what I'm all about use reuse recycle you reinvent you know do something different than you intended to do in the first place whatever but just keep it going you know just keep it thinking just keep thinking and keep going and i'll tell you what it was kind of funny when i sat here i had watched videos on how to line a bag quite some time ago and um now that i was finally sitting down to do it i just thought i'm a smart kid i can i can figure this out right so i got in there and started working it and um well, actually, before I started working it, I sat with the, the needle in my hand and the project in my hand and thought, okay, how am I going to do this? And you've seen that I can't even do the magic knot on the other side. I have got to flip my yarn around when I'm making a magic knot. I was trying to figure out how to come in from the back side, and I think I got it figured out eventually, but it didn't go smoothly at first. So, <laughs> uh, so that's one that I'm going to try to decide whether I want to do a a flap to close it or just leave it open and just do some some straps um, if I decide I'm going to continue on that process here's another pocket that I've already got made that I can just crochet around um, this was uh, one of crystals Japanese knot bags and I sewed this one as the liner um, you know like I say none of the colors are going to be meshed up perfectly and the seam thread the thread that I used doesn't always match because it's just what I had um, on this one I drew on the inside of the bag of the liner which is going to show you know if, if you're looking in your bag you're going to see my pen marks because I'm a ding dong and I couldn't find my pins my straight pins to try to you know set my work so I bought these from the Dollar Tree I think maybe oh no these were Joann's it was a pack of about a dozen for two bucks or something so tiny tiny little clothes pins but um, I've got that marked to sew up and put inside I thought the pink and the blue would be cute so here's that bag and it'll have this is the inside it's just real soft and pretty so and then this one I still have to sew together um, I picked the, the green and the purple to work on this kind of this green and purple-ish. There's tiny little green right here. 
but we'll see how that goes. I'm not in love with that. That's why I haven't done it yet. And then this one I did sew together. I'm kind of second guessing, obviously, you know, the colors. Again, just what I had. I don't know that I'm going to redo that in another one. But so now my, my most favorite work. Um, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I'm getting there. I don't know when these are going to get done. So as far as Amy's chapters of unfinished works, um, you know, here, I, these are going to be, I, I don't know if I'm ever going to get them finished working on them. <laughs> I'm putting them on the back burner for an indefinite length of time. I'll finish the, the, uh, the couple that I want to, I don't know. I'm not in love with this project as you can see, but I worked on it. So that's good. And um, now I'm kind of done working on it because I need to get some crochet done because it's driving me crazy to not be crocheting. Uh, not in love. My fingers are gonna be the signs of, you know, they look like old pin cushions. I know that you can use a thimble, but I can't feel if I'm going through and I didn't want to go through too much and pick up the other side. So I'm really sorry if this was a very cringeworthy video for you, but um, you guys are, better people than me for being able to sew because this stinks <laughs> so anyway kind of a crappy video I'm sorry about that um, but I did I am checking in with you guys you're keeping me accountable for things that I said I was gonna do and I'm glad you know you need somebody to be your counsel and correction in life sometimes it's a something in the Bible so um, you know show your stuff to other people once in a while and have them go ooh or yay you know give you a little bit of feedback so give you some direction on which way to go next maybe i don't know so hope you've enjoyed some time with me today just a little bitty video have a wonderful day i'll see you again thanks bye bye